Get your 200th episode Bicentennial Long Tee this week. And I got to thank the designer, Alicia Cole, for a great design of the logo. Thank you, Alicia. Just in time for fall, uh, it's at castropolis.net. Look for the details. Uh, you know, we don't take a lot of advertising money because we want to keep the message pure. We want to deliver it the way it should be delivered. Uh, so this is a fun way and a sporty way to support the podcast. And we just appreciate you guys. Thank you so much, man. 200 episodes. A lot of you have been here since the beginning. Um, a lot of you have found us along the way, and we just appreciate it. Thank you so much. Go to castropolis.net and order your limited edition Bicentennial shirt today. This is the G-Podcast Daily. Today is Wednesday, November 8th. It's Wisdom Wednesday, and this is the G-Podcast Daily. Five minutes of news and knowledge to get you through your day. Let's get it. Start the clock. And on this day, in 1938, Crystal Bird Fawcett was elected to Pennsylvania's House of Representatives, making her the first black woman elected to a state legislature. In 1966, Frank Robinson of the Baltimore Orioles was named the league's MVP. In 1983, W. Wilson Good of Philadelphia, Harvey Gantt of Charlotte, and James A. Sharp Jr. of Flint, Michigan all became the first black mayors of their respective cities. And happy 33rd birthday to r and B's SZA, born on this day in 1990 in St. Louis. Here's news from UNN with Alexander Caden. This is UNN, Urban Network News, national news and information for one of our people of color. I'm Alexander Caden. Seven people, including a child, were shot at an off-campus party near HBCU Prairie View A&M University in Texas. A spokesperson for the university said it's not known if any of the people who were injured or involved are affiliated with Prairie View A&M. Did you know that the Tuskegee Airmen National Museum is teaching the next generation of black pilots to fly? Some time ago, the museum launched its popular Flight Academy program, which is designed for youth between the ages of 14 to 19. The program, which is free, gives students hands-on experience and the flight curriculum needed to become a professional pilot. I have no idea how. But new polling data shows that not only would Donald Trump defeat Joe Biden if a presidential election were held today, but he would also do it while enjoying a level of support from black voters in critical battleground states. Howard University has become the first HBCU with a figure skating team. It took an entire semester to get the club registered at the university and with the U.S. figure skating organization. But by the summer of 2023, the team was official. The Howard University figure skating team aims to compete for the first time in February 2024 at the University of Delaware. You've been listening to UNN. For more national news and information for and about people of color, visit our website at myunn.net. Episode 200, DC The Brain Supreme is available now. Subscribe on your favorite podcast app or just go to castropolis.net. Your G-Clip of the day. So let's go back to uh, the first, you know, we were in the studio the first time I played it. I had to work at Magic City on Thursday night, August 92. And Pulled the cassette, set up my records, popped it in, played it. 15 people came to the DJ booth said, what the hell is that? So that's my new record to this day. So that's the biggest record, the biggest response on any record I've ever had in my 35-year DJ career. Listen to This Is The G Podcast and subscribe. All links at castropolis.net. It's Wisdom Wednesday. The BJ Murphy Radio Show. So what do you want the school to do if your child is being disruptive and disrupting the learning environment for other students? When they took the belt and the paddle out of the schools, that's when the disrespect, the fear of misbehaving just left the school. You know what I'm saying? So I agree with corporal punishment. I remember getting put holding my hand down that principal, getting that paddle. Pow, pow. You ain't mm-hmm. going to do it no more. You ain't coming back in there. You don't want that. Heavy hand on your on your hand like that. We're talking about this pastor in Florida who's being brought up on charges from parents because he used corporal punishment. He used a belt to discipline students. You know what I'm saying? You don't have a right to discipline someone's child without their permission. You just don't. So my question is, how how was he able to do that? And was he was he like Joe Clark thinking that he could just take the liberty of hitting somebody else's child? 
the BJ Murphy Radio Show. Thanks for stopping by. This has been This is the G Podcast Daily. News and knowledge to help you get through your Wisdom Wednesday, November 8th, 2023. Have a great day. You've been listening to This is the G Podcast. And This is the G Podcast is a production of the Castropolis Podcast Network. Thanks for listening.